Welcome to this quick video on updating your status in Microsoft Teams. So there's a few different ways to do this, but one I wanted to show in this video was using the command options, and that's in the search bar at the top. So rather than having to go do some clicks, rather than having to go and search and click on the right one, you can use the search bar to do certain commands and certain things, including changing your status. And to do commands, you're just going to click on the search bar and it's going to populate a couple of different things, a couple of areas that you might want to go into. You've got obviously got a search option. You can look for people, messages, files and more. But you can do commands as well. Commands start with a slash. And when you do that, you'll actually, you'll actually see a load of commands there waiting for you and some of them are you're going to chat to someone, some of them you're going to call someone, maybe someone you're going to um, use an app or something but you can also use these commands to quickly update your status. You'll see someone in there, some in there already, you can see available, so set your status to available. If I look far down you've got slash away, so set your status to away, you've got busy, do not disturb, be right back, offline. So you can see they make sense. So you can put type in a quick command and then just update your status. You can see in the top right hand corner, I'm in green, so I'm available at the moment. So if I do available, it's not really gonna help. But if I do away and press return or select, I can click on the one that's appeared on the drop down list, whichever one. It's gonna say my status has been set to away. And then you can see in the top right hand corner, it changed my status. And if I do it again, well, it's just going to say, be right back, enter. It's updating my status to there. And it's just going to come away once it's done that. If I do do not disturb or DND, it's a nice, quick, easy way of typing it rather than having to type the whole thing. It's going to set my status to do not disturb. So rather than having to go in and click on your face and then go in, it's just really saves you some clicks. It's easy to select the wrong one. You can obviously come in and do this and you've got more settings, including reset and duration. But I find the commands are quite useful in order to just help you update your status really quickly in Microsoft Teams. So have a go at that one if you use Teams. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let me know what videos you'd like me to record next.